We've just arrived in the centre of Kramatorsk. To tell you, it is largely deserted now. Uh, this missile attack happened at 10.30 uh, this morning, so it's a few hours ago. I'm going to pull out of the way. You can see what's left of the missile here now. It's basically on a patch of grass outside of the train station. It's large. It looks like a ballistic missile. What we think has happened is that it has exploded in the air over this area because it has distributed explosives throughout this area in multiple locations, seemingly randomly. And I'm going to ask my colleague, Garwin McLucky, just to focus on the words on the side of that missile, Zadeti, it means for children or for the children. Thirty-nine people we know have been killed. Four of those are children themselves. The station manager here said she thought more than a hundred were injured. We were alternatively hearing that some 300 people have been injured uh, as well. What we don't know is whether this missile exploded above the airspace above the station or whether it was brought down by uh, some sort of anti-rocket or anti uh, anti-missile system. Let's go over to the station. You can see some of the damage here. So explosives from that missile have dropped here. They've just remember that there will have been hundreds of people queuing up to get inside the train station. We've seen it. And they will, well, they would have been killed, a lot of them. Um, terrible damage here. We can see people's, people have brought their their lunch, their, their packed lunches, a few bags here. The, the police came and the ambulance, the fire service, the emergency services get, get, came very quickly and those injured have been taken to hospital now. Bodies have been removed but what I think we're going to find here is is luggage in the in the baggage hole. There we go, there's a lot of luggage here.